Hi everyone, this is Sultan with WP Funnels and today I'm going to show you how you can use upsell and downsell offers in your sales funnels in WordPress. So let's begin. Now, uh, as you know, upsell and downsell are two of the best features you can use in a sales funnel to see significant results uh, and more revenue. All right. Now, when I talk about upsell and downsell offers, I'm talking about post purchase upsell and downsell. Uh, the reason behind this is, you know, when someone goes to your funnel checkout and has paid for something, right? Now, when you make an upsell offer, you've already made some money out of this customer. Okay. Now, if someone likes the upsell offer, that's great. You make more money. If he doesn't, and if he rejects the offer, you already have made some money. So it's no loss. You're just taking a chance to get more sales. All right. However, if you can use upsell and downsell properly, then you can uh, eventually double your revenue significantly. Okay. So this is a proven tactic that has worked for years for all sales calls. All right. So now uh, let me show you how you can use them in WP funnels when you create sales funnel for your WordPress site. Now, as you can see, uh, I'm on the overview page of WP funnels. I have WP funnels and I have WooCommerce. Uh, I've already added some products in WooCommerce, all right, which I'll be using to create sales funnel here. Now, today I'm going to create a sales funnel for books where I'm going to, uh, you know, create a funnel for a single book and then I'm going to make upsell and downsell offers for it. So let me click on add new funnel and this is going to open up this page. And here I have options to choose many templates. Okay. So let me just uh, choose a very basic template of three steps uh, right here, which is the ebook template. Uh, let me just click on import. And there you go. So you see, I've imported the template and it took me to the drag and drop canvas, right? So this is one specialty of WP funnels where you have a visual drag and drop canvas uh, to plan your sales funnel. So initially I just imported the landing page, the checkout page and the thank you page. Okay. So uh, the first thing you do when you start creating a funnel in WP funnels is you need to create a checkout step and then you need to assign the main product you want to offer uh, in this funnel. So let me just select the checkout step and here uh, click on the settings icon and this will bring up the drawer. So in the drawer, the first thing you will do is you need to click on uh, search for products and search for the product you want to mainly offer using this funnel. So I'm creating a funnel for books uh, by Ken Follett and I'm going to offer one of the best books he has written, uh, Fall of the Giant. So this is one of the greatest books I've read from Ken Follett and this is something I'll be selling in this funnel. So this is the main uh, product of the funnel. If I save this and there you go. So now I just have a landing page, a checkout and a thank you. When someone goes to the landing page, he thinks he needs the offer, he can accept the offer and he'll be taken to the checkout page for the payment. Once the payment is made, he, he'll be taken to the thank you page. So this is a simple funnel, but I want to make this better. What I want is if someone accepts the initial offer and pays for it, then I'll make him another offer, which is an upsell offer for a whole volume of Ken Follett books. All right. So it will be a collection of eight books. So to do so, what I'm going to do is first, I'm going to add an upsell step. So this is what you do. You hover your mouse on plus step, click on it, and this will open up this page. On the left side, you have the option to choose what type of uh, step you are going to add. So I'm going to add an upsell step, which is this one. And this is going to give me the option to import templates here. Okay. So let me just import uh, this template. There you go. And there you go. So this is going to import the upsell step. So let me just reposition it uh, between the checkout and thank you and then reconnect the checkout to the upsell instead of the thank you. So as you can see, after the landing, it's going to go to the checkout and after the checkout, it's going to go to the upsell. And if someone accepts or rejects it, it's going to go to the thank you step. Okay. So for the upsell, what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the product that I want to offer as upsell. So you just select the step, click on the settings icon and it's going to open up uh, this drawer and here search for product. Uh, so I'm going to choose the bundle that I talked about, the eight books bundle. So it's the Kane Follett Super Volume eight books bundle. Let me just add that and there you go. It's added. All right. So now I can save changes and this is added. So what will happen now is when someone goes through the checkout, he's going to get an upsell offer. And then if he accepts the offer, uh, he, he's going to be getting the bundle. All right. But uh, what you have to do now is you have just assigned the products here, but you need to write the copy and design the page as well to match your product. So let me just uh, edit the upsell step and uh, it's going to open up here. 
and you can see that this is the text I have from uh, the template I imported. Let me just change that. Uh, let's say get the best bundle at $50 off. There you go. So this sounds good. Uh, here, let me just change, save, okay. From the best books, collect best books. Yeah. So now uh, I have offered him uh, $50 off. Well, that's actually true. Uh, you can see, let me go back to the canvas. Uh, when I assign the product, uh, you can see that its original price used to be $500 in my e-commerce store. I just gave a $50 off and put a sale price as $450. So that's what I'm going to use in my copy. Let me go back. So he's going to get a $50 off. And now I'm going to add a description to this. Now I already have the list of books I'm offering here. So I'm just going to copy and paste it here. So let's say it's there. I'm just going to use hyphens uh, so people know what books they're getting. There you go. So these are the eight books you'll be getting. Uh, I don't think I'll need this one. So let me just delete this. And uh, I think uh, this is a video. Uh, I, I don't want the video. I'm just going to remove this. And uh, how about I just use an image here? Right, so this is basically traditional Elementor. Uh, as you know, my preferred page builder is Elementor, but if you don't use Elementor, you can always use some other builder. You can change that in the settings of WP Funnels. If your builder is not there in your supported list, then simply choose Gutenberg and then edit the pages with your builder and there use our shortcodes, okay? So here, let me just click on this one and choose an image. Uh, so I have this one, which is the collection of eight books. I'll just use this as the image for this. All right, so this looks really neat. Now, the things you need to consider is over here, the buttons, these are actually our widgets. Let me show you. If I click on this one, you'll see on the left side, this is the option you get, okay? So this is basically one of our widgets, which you'll get in the widget area at the very bottom called the offer button, okay? So once you click on this, you have the option to change the text. Uh, there are two types, one is the accept and reject. So you use the same widget one, twice, one you assign as the accept, and the other one I have here, this is basically the recheck button. So in this button, you can customize the text, the color uh, and everything. All right. You can also show the price of the product. There you go. So I can show what price of the product is. So uh, I think this is good enough. Uh, someone is seeing the price. If he likes it, he can go for it. OK, so once I'm ready with this, I can just click on update and this will be saved. So now what will happen is someone goes to the upsell page. You can click on this button to accept it or uh, this one uh, to recheck the offer. Okay, so let me close this. Uh, similar to this, you also have to design your checkout step uh, and the landing page uh, so that it matches your content. But for now, I'm just going to leave them as it is, as I'm just showing you how to use upsell and downsell. Okay, so for now, I'm going to show you the upsell in action. Let me just uh, preview the checkout step. And here you can see all the data is uh, filled out because I've used this before to test it out. Uh, but normally uh, when you test it, uh, you can also test it in incognito. There you need to fill out the form and, uh, and choose a payment uh, method. And uh, for testing, I suggest before you launch your form, you test it out with payment gateways. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna use cash on delivery to test this. So once I've selected cash on delivery, you can see this was the main product I had. Uh, and let's say I'm accepting this offer. I'm gonna place order. And right away, it's going to take me to the upsell page. There you go. You can see this is the upsell page I just designed. If I uh, accept it, it's going to go to the thank you. And I'll see that I have uh, added this to my order. Uh, if I reject this, this is not going to get added. So let me just accept it for now. And uh, there you go. That's going to take me to the thank you. And as you can see, I have purchased the bundle as well. So uh, normally when you have a payment gateway like Stripe or PayPal, we have the one click upsell feature, which means when someone accepts offer of a funnel at the checkout, he goes to the uh, upsell. At that time, if he clicks on accept the offer, it just gets accepted with one click uh, in case of Stripe. In case of PayPal, it takes them uh, for a confirmation to the merchant. And once confirmed, the order is accepted. You do not need to fill out the whole checkout form again. All right. So this is an uh, example of an upsell, but let's say someone rejects my upsell. What happens then? It just means that I just uh, made enough money from the checkout 
and if someone rejects the officer, there's no extra money, right? But uh, that's not what I want, all right? What I want is that, as you can see, in this case, the upsell was pretty expensive. Uh, compared to the main product, which is $50, the upsell was $450, and there's a high chance that the buyer probably didn't have the budget with him, all right? So what I'm gonna do is, after someone rejects an upsell, I'm still gonna make him another offer, which is gonna be much more affordable, and if he might just have the budget for it, okay? So I'm just gonna add another step, which is the downsell step. Again, click on plus step and choose the step type as downsell. And here you can import uh, a template. So let me just uh, import, let's say this one. And there you go, you can see the downsell step has been added. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this in between the thank you step. Uh, and I'm gonna reconnect upsell to downsell, all right? But uh, you can notice that this flow is not correct, okay? What this flow means is that if someone uh, accepts the main offer, he goes to the upsell. Now, after the upsell, he will go to the downsell whether he accepts or rejects it, right? Now, I don't want that. What I want is someone, if someone accepts the upsell, he'll go to thank you. If he rejects it, he's gonna go to a downsell, all right? So downsell should only appear if the upsell is rejected. That's what I, I want to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use our conditional steps control mode. Mm -hmm. So you can just click on this one, which is condition, and this is gonna open, uh, bring up this icon. So let me just place it here, and I, I would rather connect the upsell to that condition. And from the condition, you can see there is two things. One is uh, T, which means true. One is F, which means false. So if the condition is true, he's gonna be directed to thank you. And if the condition is false, he's gonna be directed to down sell. So that's what I'm gonna set up. And what will be the condition? You can just click on configure this and here let me choose if upsell is accepted okay so this means that if someone accepts the upsell uh the condition is true when the condition is true it's going to go to the thank you step if the condition is false it's going to go to the downsell step okay so now the flow makes more sense what i'm going to do now is i'm going to assign the product for the downsell let me just select this and click on the settings icon it has its own dedicated drawer and here again you need to search for the product now for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna offer a four books collection. So let's say I'm again gonna search for Ken Follett. And I have created a collection of four books. Let me just add product and there you go. So this one usually costs 150, but I've added a discount in my store to offer it at 130. So let me just save changes and that's it. And just like Upsell, I also need to design this. Let me just click on edit and it's gonna open up in my preferred page builder. And here, let me just change the text. How about, how about an awesome bundle of four. So let me just change the typography. There we go. So save $20 now. So here I can write some copy, uh, get your favorite Ken Follett books through this budget bundle. And uh, this one includes the four books. These are the four books. So I'm just gonna add them. I can just use hyphens. And there you go. So now uh, I have written a copy. And again, these two are our widgets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm again gonna show the price so the person knows what stuff they're getting. So here, he's gonna save $20 and he's gonna get a bundle of four books. He's gonna pay only 130, okay? So uh, this is basically more of a good offer because uh, when you look at it uh, here, he's actually paying a lot less for the books, okay? So now once this is there, I'm just gonna update this and this is gonna be saved. So as you know, this widget and the widget in Upsell are the same thing, all right? So you're gonna get it in the widget area at the very bottom called the offer button. You can use it in your Upsell or Downsell. And uh, if the type is selected as accept, uh, clicking on this means that he's gonna accept the offer. And if the type is selected as re reject, uh, which is this one, let me show you. There you go. Uh, this means clicking on this will reject the offer, okay? So now let me go back to the canvas and let me see this funnel in action. 
let me start with the landing step. Now, as you can see, this is the funnel landing page. And uh, obviously I haven't changed any text or content here, but when you design your funnels, make sure to change the image, uh, the text here, and probably the colors to match your brand. All right, uh, so that this funnel makes sense. As you can see, this is just the dummy text that you have in the uh, template. Now, if I click on this button, all the CTAs in this page are our widgets. So clicking on any of the buttons will take you to the next step. So let me just click on this one and it's going to take me to the funnel checkout page. There you go. And here you can see this is the initial book I offered, Fall of the Giant. And uh, let me just place an order for that. And once I do that, it's going to take me to the upsell page. And here, instead of accepting it this time, I'm just going to reject it. I'll, I will wait for it later. All right. So let me click on this and it's going to redirect me to the downsell page. As you can see, when I rejected the upsell, it took me to the downsell. All right. And now if I accept this, I'm going to purchase this one. If I don't accept this, I'm just going to go to thank you. Let me just accept this one. And uh, it's going to take me to the thank you step. As you can see, I have just purchased uh, the downsell offer, which was four books instead of the upsell offer. Okay, so that's it. That's how easy it is to use upsell and downsell offers in your sales funnels. All right. So uh, what I suggest is, as you know, upsell and downsell are two of the most proven tactics to increase revenue. So if you haven't started using them yet, I suggest you start using them right away. Okay. Now to be able to use upsell and downsell in WP Funnels, you will need WP Funnels Pro and I suggest uh, you get it as soon as possible. I'll leave a link in the description below to get WP Funnels Pro. All right. So for now, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in one of my future videos with more guides uh, on using sales funnels and using WP Funnels. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.